Hello everyone, uh, my name is Tyler and today we'll be talking about very simple uh, lighting effects. As you can see here, the lightning effect that we're going to be making is comprised of three different parts. Uh, the first part is the clouds where the lightning will kind of be spawned from, the second part is the lightning itself, and the third part is the kind of visual impact of the lightning. I have this running at half speed because my recording software can't exactly capture frames uh, rapidly very well. So let's change that uh, real quick to show you what it will actually look like, hopefully. Um, so as you can see, it's actually very quick. You only see the lightning for uh, like a split second and then it's already gone because that's kind of how lightning already works. So let's put it back to half speed so we can actually see what's going on again. Um, so we're going to be talking about how to do the cloud effect and the actual lightning effect today. We've talked about how to do explosion effects in other videos, um, so we're not going to be talking about that today. Um, so let's get this out of the way so we can get started. Um, I did two things before uh, this video. I actually made a couple of lightning textures in Photoshop, and I've linked to a video, a YouTube video, on how to kind of make your own lightning texture in Photoshop. And if you don't have Photoshop, I also linked um, of a YouTube video on how to make a lightning texture in GIMP, so if you don't have Photoshop, um, you can use that. It's free. Um, I would recommend it because it does a lot of cool things. But um, one, uh, once you have your lightning textures, uh, feel free to join us in, the, in making this particle system. So let's start with the lightning and make a particle system. Uh, the first thing that we want to do, as you can see over here, is that um, our lightning kind of consists of flashing like a flat texture onto the screen very quickly. So we want to, let's go over here. Uh, hey, now Unity always forces you to zoom out so much to see the whole default system. Uh, let's go to the shape. And we don't really need a gigantic cone. We actually just want a nice little point emitter so we can know exactly where the lightning is going to spawn every time. And the next thing that we want to do is we want to change the emission from particles over time to just a burst of particles um, at a specific time. So let's change that to one, since we only want to kind of display one texture at a time. We don't really need our textures to kind of overlap very much. Um, the next thing that we want to do is we want to change our duration and our lifetime to kind of more accurately match how lightning uh, is affected. Uh, the duration for this particle system I've kind of arbitrarily chosen uh, to be one, um, but the lightning itself is actually going to be very fast. So you can see there. Let's actually add our lightning texture in. Let's search for it. There we go. Apply the material to that. Let's change the speed because we don't really want our lightning to be moving around very much. Uh, the size is perfectly fine. The only other thing that we might want to do is uh, have a bit of a fade out so it kind of just doesn't pop in and pop out. The pop in is fine because that's how kind of lightning works in real life, but the pop uh, pop out kind of looks a little bit funny to me. Um, it might not look funny to you, and that's fine, but I'm just going to change this real quick. I have a kind of fade in during the, or a fade out during the later half of its lifetime. Um, so that's that. Uh, let's add in our second lightning effect, so we can have kind of like a little double burst system. Let's just copy the effect, attach it to our hierarchy, then change the actual material that is applied to the particle. So there's our kind of double lightning. Let's change the actual burst time of the system a little bit so that they're not going off at the same time. All right, that looks fine. Let's go ahead and make our cloud particle. So let's create another particle system, attach it. Uh, let's change the shape to be a sphere, much smaller sphere. Uh, let's go ahead and match the duration and lifetime to what our parent particles are. Don't need that much speed. Let's change the render to an actual kind of cloud-like particle. I'm going to use Unity's default uh, smoke particle because it kind of looks like a cloud. And uh, this is kind of like a basic tutorial anyway, so having a complicated texture doesn't matter. Uh, let's go ahead and actually make that much smaller so it doesn't overlap. Lightning. That's okay. Let's move it so that it's actually oh, this is off in space. Let me reset the transform. There we go. Let's move it up a bit. Turn it around. Move it back a bit. We can actually probably just make the sphere a bit 
variation in our clouds. Let's change the, let's have a little bit of variation in the size, variation in the rotation. Uh, and then have it fade out a bit over time. Oops. Maybe make them a little bit darker, kind of be more storm clouds. There we go. The next thing that we want to do is we want to have it be, since this is a burst particle system, we want our clouds to kind of emulate that as well. Um, so there you have it, an extremely simple uh, kind of lightning system. There's a bunch of kind of different interesting things that you can do um, with the clouds and the impact of the lightning. You can have different kinds of explosions. You can mark the ground. You can have sparks flying. You can have uh, like I don't know, just like bright kind of cores uh, around the impact of the lightning. You can have the clouds kind of sweat, like violently swirling around. Uh, have different interesting like quick rotations or velocities. Um, but that's basically it. Um, you can, as you can see, the lightning basically just relies a lot on the texture and a lot on kind of just flashing very quickly. Actually, let's just turn this to one so we can see a bit better how that looks. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments, and I hope you have a great day.